It is time now for the PHL new news report for this Friday afternoon, March 13th, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. I hear 12 new news headlines, and I'm talking to you at 12.01 here on this. Friday afternoon, as President Obama said there was no excuse for violent acts regarding this week's police shootings in Ferguson, but the message was delivered not from the White House, but from ABC's Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel Live. An intense cyclone hit Final Two Friday as forecasters predicted it could be the worst natural disaster the tiny South Pacific Island chain has ever seen. Black students at the University of Washington are alleging that members of the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity called African Americans and have seen gestures and obscene words. And Buddha's mentors passed the threat house during the campus. Black Lives Matter. Washington, U.S. producer pressed the film in February for a fourth straight month, pointed to tame inflation that could argue against an anticipated June interest rate hike from the Federal Reserve. A spokesman from the ISIS terror group said Thursday that it accepted a pledge of loyalty from Nigeria based Boko Haram that was made last weekend. A blunt no was Jobs' response according to the biography being published. This month was one of the few times Jobs has yelled at Tim Cook in 13 years. Cook, Tim Cook said in the book, Stockholm's Swedish prosecutor wants to question Julian Assange in London over allegations of sexual assault potentially ended in the past that left the WikiLeaks found to hold up in almost three years in Ecuador's embassy. Johannesburg Oscar Pistorius lawyer failed Friday in their attempt to stop an appeal by prosecutors that will again seek a murder conviction against the double empty athlete for shooting girlfriend Weaver Steam Camp. Marple is the last major obstacle to open a land route between Russia and Crimea, which Russia annexed from Ukraine in March last year. An Indian bride walked out of the wedding after a groom failed to answer a simple math question during the ceremony in Russellblad Village in Northern Uttar Pradesh State last Wednesday. The women named Lovely Singh asked Groom Rambam. Settle down, everybody. The Kremlin says Russia President Vladimir Putin is live. Russian government released photographs this morning of the strongman meeting with the head of the country's Supreme Court. An undated photo provided by the Livonia Police Department of Basel Amr said that a Detroit airsoft player was placed at critically injured referee by punching him during a match on Sunday, June 29, after 2014, and surrendered to the face of felony. Two policemen were shot early Thursday in Ferguson, Missouri, in what one official called an ambush. As after the City's police chief resigned in the November the Justice Department report that accused the Department of racially biased policing. Consumer in early March scaled back their enthusiasm about the U.S. economy according to data released on Friday as the drop was concentrated in lower income households facing higher utility bills. In Paris, the International Energy Agency says the global carbon emissions stayed stable last year, even though the economy grew according to new data that could boost the chances for a landmark climate accord later this year. The Russian central bank got its main lending rate on Friday, sending a strong signal that in its nasty is a rapidly declining economy as a more serious worry than high inflation. In the FCC's newly released net neutrality order, it included a supplemental document of so-called myths from the classified broadband as a Title II regulated telecommunications service. Internationally renowned architect Michael Graves died Thursday of natural causes. Graves says. Designed over 350 buildings, but among most importantly, commissions is the Louisville's 26 story Humana building. Disney announced a sequel to Frozen and plans to spend Star Wars franchise at its annual shareholders meeting. Our solar system, largest moon, may be harboring a deep secret of subterranean saltwater ocean. That's right, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has spotted signs of a vast ocean lurk beneath the surface of Jupiter's moon's Ganymede. A team of chemists at the University of Illinois has developed a machine to easily create molecules the way Aaron Jr. would do it with a 3D printer creating instruments. In Bethesda, Maryland, an American healthcare worker who has contracted Ebola while volunteering in a Sierra Leone treatment unit arrived safely at the National Institute of Health Hospital in Maryland and officials announced early Friday. The death toll from West Africa's Ebola outbreak has passed 10,000 according to the latest daily release from the World Health Organization. All right, take a look at stock market to report here at 1206. Here, Dow 1768.70 down 236.52. SP 524.04 down 21.91. And Nasdaq 46.28 down 47.01.
European markets, DEX 11.8, up 70.84. FTSE 6.718.79, down 42.28. CAC 45,004.46. CAC 45,004.78, up 17.45. Asian markets, Nikkei 19.254.25, up 263.14. Shanghai 33.73.78, up 24.46. HSI 23.823.21 up 25.25. Oil markets here 45.37 in oil down one dollar sixty eight cents. Brent 56.8 down one dollar and natural gas 2.705 down two nine thousand a point. Gold markets 1152.90 up one. Silver 15.515 down one thousand a point and copper 2.6595 up one thousand a point. US 10 euro 2.1016 percent up six thousand a point. German 10 euro 0.259 percent up one thousand a point and Japanese 10 year 0.417% down 1,000 points. European US style 1.052 down 115,000 points. US style Japanese and 121.16 down 12 cents. And Great Britain Pound US style 1.4752 down 129,000 points. Okay, look at the commodities here. Wheat, 501 and a half, down 5 and 3 quarters. Soybean, 975 and a half, down 15. Corn, 382 and a quarter, down 6 and a quarter. Sugar, $12.67, down 54 cents. Coffee, 129.60, down $2.60. Cotton, 16.56, down 66 cents. Red price, 10.655, down 25,000 points. And cocoa, 2008, 17.00, down $21. Live cattle, 154.775, down 1.025. Clean on 61.65, down 65 cents. NFT cattle 209.90, down 2.025. Okay, take a look at New England and Slurts here. Worcester update the firefighter that was injured. The overnight fire was treated and released from the hospital with minor injuries. Firefighters became trapped by the fire on floor two on the building and called a mayday before later. Just were able to get to the second floor. Firefighters bailed in the windows here. All right, take a look at sports news here. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones has a net worth of $4.2 billion. The NFL salary cap for 2015 is $1.1.8 million. The gap of more than $4 billion between the two figures is why the star running back to Michael Murphy is... Now a member of the Philadelphia Eagles and are no longer a member of the Dallas Cowboys. And speaking of the Dallas Cowboys, they didn't wait long to start to try to fill up the gap. Keeping on the backfield, the team has agreed to terms with former Oakland Raiders, Darren McFadden, his agent in, in Green Grills, Nance, and Trudeau and Friday. Okay, tonight, the Boston Celtics will be at the TD Garden, taking on the Orlando Magic here. Peter Channel News Time is now 12.09 here, and it is time now for a travel report here on this beautiful Friday afternoon, Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it shows. Smooth sound and highways, byways in New England there. And we're seeing. Two slow spots here. One slow spot is 93 in the south side. From 495 and Andover down for Route 128 and. Reading at 95 in the north front side is backed up from Newburyport all the way down to the New Hampshire border here. Mm. Mm. And take a look at the MBTA Rider Alert Sierra Subway. 
é ok. And on the commuter rail. Commuter rail, no delays. Peter Chell News Time is down 12 12. They're on this. Friday afternoon, and it is time now for our weather report here. Our congregations here in North Massachusetts at 12 12 p.m. 35 degrees at temperature with first gas humidity 27%. Wind speed was about 5 miles per hour, barometer 3.16 inches, dew for about 4 degrees. Visibly 10 miles and wind to about 31 degrees. Okay, take a look at our current conditions here. It is 31 degrees here in Boston. It's 33 in Pittsburgh, 20 in Beverly, 20 in Bedford and Gloucester. It is 30 out in. Thirty out in Beverly and in Haverhill, it's twenty nine in Webster, thirty in Sturbridge, twenty in Webster, thirty four. Hmm. Thirty four out in Milford, thirty two in Norwood, it's thirty four in Taunton, thirty three in Bedford, it's thirty two in Plymouth, thirty two in Falmouth and Chatham and Marfords Manor, twenty nine in Cape Cod Bay, thirty one in Nantucket, thirty in Provincetown. It is 32 in Block On, 32 in Wesley, 28 in Providence, 39 in New York City, 37 in Nislip, 33 in Montauk, 32 in Bridgeport, 33 in Aint, New Haven, it's 34 in Denbury, and in Meriden, and Hartford, and Woodlocks, 30 in Waterbury, Connecticut, 31 in Springfield, Massachusetts, 30 in Greenfield, Massachusetts, 29 in Athol, Massachusetts, 20 in North Adams, and Pittsfield, Massachusetts, 31 in Albany, New York, it's 32 in Soto Springs, 20 in Bainton, and Bradbury, Vermont, 25 in Rutland, Vermont, 20 in Keene, and Jeff, and Hampshire, 25 in La Corner, New Hampshire, 20 in Concord, Hampshire, 30 in Manchester and National and Hampshire, 34 in Portland, Hampshire, 20 in Portland, Maine, here. Okay, take a look at the service map around the country here. Stage a front from southwestern Saskatchewan, down for eastern Montana, now for North Dakota, now for northern Minnesota, up in the northern Great Lakes. A cold front from Louisiana, name for the Gulf of Mexico, merging with a low pressure from southeast Texas. Merging with state front from Arkansas, now from Mississippi, now for Alabama, merging with a cold front from north central Florida, not to see here. We got a front line from south central Manitoba, the name for western Montana, now for eastern Nebraska, now for western Kansas, now for Oklahoma, now for New Mexico. A front line from southern Texas, now for northern Mexico. Get a front line from western Mexico, and get a front line from south central Washington, now for western Oregon, and name for the California coastline here. Get a front line from northeastern Arkansas, down to no. Royal Valley, and we got a high pressure in upstate New York and south central Saskatchewan and western Montana. We got a low pressure in Minnesota, and we got 39 degrees in Detroit, 48 out in Pittsburgh, 44 in Washington, D.C., 47 in Atlanta, Georgia, 80 in Miami, 40, 50 in Brandsville, Texas, 55 in Dallas, Texas, it's 46 in Kansas City, 43 in Chicago, Illinois, 46 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 51 in Omaha, Nebraska. 3 in Great Falls, Montana, 47 in Seattle, 56 in San Francisco, 63 in Los Angeles, and Las Vegas, Nevada, 65 in Phoenix, Arizona, 45 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 47 in Denver, Colorado, and 40 in Salt Lake City, Utah. Here. Alright, let's take a look at our radar situation here. Shows us some snow shots from southwestern New Hampshire stretching up to central Vermont. And up in an upstate New York, down for southwestern and western Quebec, and up in the east, southeastern and northeastern portions of Ontario, down for sleet and rain, down for central portions of Ontario here. And this is going to be our rainstorm here for tomorrow. Raining from western Ohio, down for Indiana, coming to much of Kentucky, Tennessee, western Virginia, and Carolinas, and stretching it down for Kentucky, Tennessee, down for western Alabama, down for Mississippi, down for eastern Louisiana, coming to much of southern Missouri, Arkansas, coming in eastern Oklahoma, and northeastern Texas. Spotted rain, showers around for South Central, South Carolina, and down for coastal Georgia, and then off the Florida, Northern Coast, off Jacksonville here. 
and some rain showers in the northeastern portions of Te Mexico, some spotty rain showers with southwestern and northwestern and northeastern portions of New Mexico and Atlanta rain, sleeted snow showers around the 25 quarter from Denver down to Pueblo. Mm -hmm. And rain, sleeted snow showers with southwestern portions of Ontario, rain showers in the west central portions of Saskatchewan, some rain showers in west central portions of Alberta and up in southeastern portions of British Columbia here. And take a look at our satellite loop. Hmm. And then it shows a lot of clouds coming to much of the eastern portion of the country. And a lot of clouds coming to much of the Gulf states around the Oya Valley. And a lot of clouds from Mexico down from western Texas and stretching to New Mexico from Cairo. <coughs> oh, no, up in New Nebraska down from eastern South Dakota down from southern Minnesota up in northern Wisconsin. And a lot of clouds from northern California and up to Oregon, Washington State down for British coming down for Alberta here. And spider clouds from northeastern Saskatchewan and from the northwestern portions of. of Manitoba here. Okay, take a look at our forecast discussion around the region here, around the country. Widespread rain from the Gulf Coast to the Middle Atlantic States and rain and high mountain snow which turn in the west. Rain will become increasingly like widespread on Friday across much of the deep south and extending into the Ohio Valley as the moisture streams northward from the Gulf of Mexico ahead of the Slow moving cold front and surface slow the lows expect to emerge with another cold front moving southeastward from the Great Lakes and this will cause rain to extend out to the east coast by Friday night and into Saturday. A stronger surface slow is expected to develop by the end of the forecast period near the New England coast with some significant snow possible for northern New England and Maine by Saturday night and early Sunday. Out west, this recent dry weather is forecast to transition over the weather pattern by this weekend as a series of weak disturbances lost in a surface cold front approaches west coast. Rain is expected to arrive by Friday afternoon for western Washington, Oregon, and then to reach the uh, northern Rockies, and then to the west. By Saturday, snow will confine to the higher mountain locations and most population areas receiving rain. Mm. Mm. Dry but chilly weather prevails today and this evening as low pressure will bring a cold soaking rain Saturday probably started as a brief period of freezing rain inland in early Saturday morning. Leftover rain showers will change to scattered snow showers late Saturday night and Sunday with a minor accumulation possible in northeast Massachusetts. Dry weather returns Monday followed by rain showers Monday night and then early Tuesday then a blessed and unsuitably cold weather late Tuesday and then Wednesday. And 10.45 a.m. update. No significant changes made to current forecast made a few minor updates. To try to capture current trends, otherwise, forecast is on track. And I'm predicting today's high 32 to 42 degrees. And wet snow, not central New Hampshire and central northern Maine. Best chance for 12 inches from Augusta, Bangor, Maine. Light to moderate to briefly heavy snow for parts of the southern New England and pockets of ice and for Vermont and New Hampshire here. And okay, let us take a look at when the rain will get here. Here. Okay, the rain's gonna get here to Richmond, Virginia by about 8.45 and then in the Baltimore, Washington quarter by between 8.45 and 10.45 in the western Pennsylvania and then all Pennsylvania by about 1 a.m. and then approach the New York City region by about 1 to 3 a.m. and then 7 and all New York State, Eastern New York from Buffalo, Albany and down for Southwest Connecticut by about 5 a.m. and I'm predicting the rain will get here by about Central and Western Massachusetts by about 5 to 7 a.m. and the rain will be here in all of Eastern Massachusetts by between 7 and 9 a.m. time frames here. And it'll be raining all day tomorrow here. Okay, let us take a look at our seven day forecast. First of all, hazardous weather outlook here. Hmm. But we have a hazardous weather outlook in effect because day one today tonight hazard weather did not expect at a time and day two for seven Saturday for Thursday. Mainly rain is affected Saturday, however, a brief period of light freezing rain is likely for some, especially across the interest southern New England and this time frame for the slight freezing rain is the early to mid morning hours of Saturday, while any accident in the match will be light. 
These types of snares sometimes result in very hazardous trouble in roadways and numerous accidents that freeze rain advisory will likely be needed for at least a portion of the region here. <coughs> Oi! This afternoon go like this. Most of the sense can have at 3 degrees, not for about 5 miles per hour come. Today, most of the cars can lower at 27 degrees, stop for about 3 to 5 miles per hour. For Saturday, rain and petrol will get to 9 a.m., high near 45 degrees. Calm wind becoming southeast around 6 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chat the perspective is 9 percent new Christmas amounts between a half and three quarters inch possible. For Saturday night, shadows like to me after 10 p.m. Petrobag before 9 p.m. or wise. Class got low about 32 degrees. Like West wind shuts the is 6 percent new Christmas amounts between a half and quarter inch possible. For Sunday, rain and snow showers likely coming all rain back after 2 p.m. Class got about 40 degrees. Dark wind about 69 miles by gut size. 22 miles by chest space is 6 percent. Sunday night, chance of rain and snow showers before 9 p.m. And then a slight chance of snow showers between 9 and 10 p.m. Most of the got low about 23 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30 percent. By Monday, most of the signs got about chance of rain and snow showers by Monday night. Most of the signs and most of the got about 43 low about 29 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30 percent. By Tuesday, chance of rain and snow showers with some mostly cut up podcasts got about 44 low about 22 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30 percent. By Wednesday, most of the signs podcasts got about 37 low about 19 degrees. By Thursday, most of the signs got about 41 degrees. Peters, what a phrase of the day! A sunny and a cool Friday in town and a wet weekend in store. Peters, you have a good day with a good positive to the 3 for 4 o'clock report. Have a good day!